Hi, and welcome back to our open stop motion film project. Uh, it had been a while now, and some of the reason have been that I wanted to update my site and the reason for that is I have been on the net for a long time and uh, some of you have experienced the same thing that we spent a lot of time on on uh, on these social media, and then we build up a follow a follower, and uh, then suddenly one day uh, one of these media pull the plug, and then you are out of out of log again. And I'm trying, uh, what should we say, to prevent that. Uh, First, way back when I started uh, uploading pictures to Zoom, and I, after, <coughs> sorry, then Zoom stopped, uh, they just died without saying anything, uh, uh, didn't update the site anymore or whatever, and then, uh, you uh, you lost the follow on that count and then you started on friend feed or maybe I did that uh, simultaneously with Zoom but I don't remember but that died out and was hard to to get uh, going and then I started on uh, uh, board uh, uh, right what are we saying? Uh, uh, paid for uh, just in TV and started there and uh, got a lot of followers on Justin and then they disappeared too. Uh, suddenly one night they pulled up a sign and and said thank you for uh, for that time and uh, we are uh, closing and. Uh, uh, and going on with the uh, uh, game channel Twitter, uh, t t uh, what was the name? Twitch or something like that. Uh, so, to prevent, keep on doing that uh, because this is a really, really hard work and uh, to keep on up, up on this media, so social media, so. Uh, to prevent that to happen, I have made my own site, and I had that for a long time, but uh, I have not really updated it. Uh, so, so um, I tried to get some traffic on it, but to uh, to make it uh, usable, we need to have what should we say? Uh, be able to have a chat or a comment section. So. If you see, I have made a comment. Uh, we will update. I do like this first, and you see. <coughs> Sorry for all that. Uh, you can see I have, uh, and that is pixelfantasies.com, and. You can, uh, you can of course uh, uh, see the live stream there, and you can uh, see the schedule for when I'm uh, streaming and not. Uh, we will stream every night at uh, uh, between 8 p.m. and uh, 9 p.m. Uh, uh, plus one UTC, and then um, the kids' workshop will be every Tuesday and every Thursday. And we will uh, 
there will be more later on but uh, we will keep to this a little while and then I have made this uh, you can see up here I let this comment because when I'm sending live like now uh, we need to to have uh, a possibility to uh, a, 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 a place where we can uh, chat or comment. Uh, I cannot uh, keep eye on on YouTube and uh, a lot of other places at the same time. So we, I have made my own here, so we can comment on that. And then to uh, gain some traffic to the site, I have uploaded a ton of free photos for anyone to uh, download and used to whatever they want and uh, there are uh, I don't know if any one of you have followed but uh, they are the uh, I have a little series uh, a series a series I have made a long time ago with uh, with uh, this small guys uh, a little, little Lego guy and his little dog and on uh, uh, different adventures here he is on the he is on the uh, Arctic uh, but and I know there are no polar bear bears or uh, that's on the North Pole but we are not that uh, or that was a fun stop I started with my grandson back in time but uh, and uh, there's a lot of, of uh, here they are foreign birds you can see a lot of there are about 2,000 pictures in here uh, on in the, this collection site here small guy by the sea and close and personal with flowers and Danish cities inside and fish and other wet creatures and foreign birds like we are on and in the forest and mammals and outside the box it's uh, outside the box it's my a little more arty uh, stuff that I like and that I like to make but you can see I call them outside the box and uh, insects six lakes or more and some of us are stripped they are all uh, black and white uh, pictures you see stuff like this uh, and all different stuff you can see Swedish side and and uh, sites and places I often take on vacation to Sweden I love that country I have lived in Sweden and, and uh, so I have a special place for that in my heart. It's a very beautiful country. I have taken a lot of pictures up there. Often we up there in the winter. So you can see here. 
But when you click on the on the title picture title, yeah, when you uh, when you click on the title, it will take you to to my uh, to a secure connection to my uh, Dropbox, and there you can download it for free in full size. So uh, you have to wait a little before this, and then this download sign comes, and then you can download uh, the picture. Go back to the side again, and uh, up. And uh, at the birds around me, and toys in a different way, and winterland. So you can see there are a lot of stuff there to go and get. And uh, and but it's most the uh, and there are no banner ads or pop ups or anything. It's a clean site, so you don't have to be afraid for anything, and not trying to pull one on you or trying that there is no angle to it uh, just uh, use it if you want but I of course want to have the traffic because uh, then I uh, you don't suddenly disappear one day because I cannot reach to you and you cannot reach to me or you don't know where I'm going and uh, uh, what I'm doing is such a niche, niche uh, project so uh, when uh, when I finally find some that are interested in what uh, we are doing here uh, then I don't want them to disappear again. I guess you will understand that. So I hope you will use the site and you can also um, uh, you can also view the stream on the site like now. Uh, you can see here so, but uh, and this way I can keep an eye on the comments and I can comment back. Uh, I know we can do that on YouTube too, but YouTube are, n are not the place where uh, I will get a lot of uh, followers because YouTube are, are more young people and games and uh, music and whatnot and uh, this old guy uh, they are not that interested in so and I understand that but so I have made this so we can have something to ourselves uh, and keep on uh, have the contact uh, so and then I have uh, updated all this uh, when I'm streaming here. Uh, I have uh, I've used uh, to to do this and do this as interesting as possible. And that can be very hard when we do uh, repeat uh, repeat uh, things a lot, uh, like making trees or or what we have done in the past. Uh, so to make it a little more interesting, we can. Uh, I need uh, uh, several cameras, and then I have a, a video mixer, and I can. Um, you can buy a TriCaster, a hardware video mixer, but I have uh, gone. Bec that's very expensive too. But I have gone for this software. Uh, video mixer and that's Wirecast and uh, Wirecast um, 
a little expensive too because uh, I had uh, updated it. I started with uh, I think four point zero, and now we up. Uh, I have uh, just uh, last uh, month I think I uh, updated it to seven, but it has uh, gotten so much better. So that was a good update. But it cost the, the updates are not free. They cost uh, I don't know what that is in dollars, but uh, the that's expensive stuff. So, uh, and then so what what I have used my time to was to uh, it take a lot of time to make a uh, few thousand pictures. It's it's it not that I just. Uh, take them from the uh, uh, a camera and then upload. I work on every one of them and, and, and to uh, people to be interested they have to be the best I possible can make them so yeah, there have been a lot of 16 hours days to do that. But uh, now we will concentrate on, on uh, making uh, our little stop motion film with Flint. Uh, and by the way, I have also uh, been uh, writing. I have uh, got a good uh, uh, write-up program. Uh, it's called uh, Scribner. Uh, that's a really good program uh, to do stuff like this. You know, you have to. Uh, uh, what are you calling it? You uh, you need to make a script, and there's a lot of things. I'll put it all on this side here for a moment, just a moment, so you can see. See. We will. Where is that? I think it's here. Yep, Scribner. That's a good. Uh, I can. If any one of you uh, write in, uh, write anything. I can uh, vouch for this program. It's a really good program for this. You can put your your figures in and your. Uh, Persons and uh, make a good manuscript, and I love it. So, you close that again and go back to the frame. And we are gonna make a, a lot of hits, uh, a lot of. Uh, Figures to uh, to the film, and for those you ha that haven't seen it, uh, we are gonna make a lot of uh, skeleton to it. So I bought this uh, to these tools, so I could make it in in metal and. Uh, but I haven't started on that yet, uh, and I have ordered a new tool to. Uh, it should come tomorrow. We can see if that's on the way. But that I am gonna to use at the kids' workshop. I don't know what it is. Am I Brand brief. Here and I don't know what that is. Slip. I'm just looking at the mail, but uh, I need a special saw so I can. It take too long when I have a, in the t uh, children's workshop. It takes uh, too long to. Uh, stand and saw all the stuff over, so I get a, a little tool to do that, and uh, that comes tomorrow. And tomorrow we are sending uh, 
uh, kids workshop for the first time again so in a while so but uh, we will go on with what we are doing here and uh, we need to made a lot make a lot of them and then we need to make some skeleton but we are not uh, get more than this done tonight we are not making skeleton tonight i need to go and buy some some uh, some metal to do it I haven't had time for that. So. You know, I'm the only... Uh, I'm the only soldier in this army, so... It often take a little longer than necessary. For a long time, I wanted to chat because it's uh, if we gonna have any kind of uh, dialogue, we need that. And uh, what I have told before that is that Flint, the story we are making here, the films we are making is about Stone Age people. So So they have a little more no I try to get them to look like a little like Niantha taller even than not historical correct either but you know, sometimes you can do have it uh, what I calling it freedom the artists have a little freedom to do it's fiction so we can make whatever we want And I guess you have, some of you at least have seen, seen a lot of uh, seen a lot of you, the other uh, heads I make. Maybe I can show you on the. On the side, if you look at the blog in on the side pixelfantasies.com and go down on the down to the 
You can see the journey we has been on. Uh, from the very early start uh, and up words how I built the studio, how I started the first in in different material and that was not that good and how I built the printer and some of the prints I made and <coughs> and uh, different stuff you can know you can see here uh, where is that this one you can see here if we go down here come on scroll down here you can see the start where I start to build the studio and a workshop and a little bird that came every day and helped me and how we I built the table up where we're gonna have it all on and all the tech stuff and uh, the cameras and a lot of it have have been changed in the meantime but uh, that's how it goes you you start uh, having something in your head and then you start build and then you later pick out that uh, maybe that was not a good idea and then you change it and so on so it's a process in progress uh, here is uh, when I got my printer from the US that was a good day and uh, it is a printer but plus Plus, and uh, here you can see some of the figures I I printed. Uh, there's Flint and his friend and his all sort of people. And uh, here I had to the first uh, period. We I had the printer. I I think some people asked me what what what's the weird music you are playing and that was because the printer make a weird noise when it's it's running so i need to build a box for it to live in uh, you can see down here it just stood on the table and printed that it was very noisy so i built this box here so it it got a little more and then i had a compressor that I had for 30 or 40 years and uh, at the first time I used it it exploded the one uh, the preservation the pressure vessel exploded so uh, so I got this one and uh, then we started the building the workshop and you know, just a picture of it with the workshop was built and then I started to cut out in foam the the set and here you can see the family uh, uh, a little of the family and the big bear and butterfly and some flowers and the birds and the trees and this is kind of where we are now so what that you can see on the blog so just go to pixelfantasy.com and then in the blog you can see whatever you what <clears throat> I think this one I'm gonna uh, my mouse is uh, 
is uh, connected to all the screens, so I only use uh, one mouse. That's easy, and when I have to get used to it. This is lit. He won't ears, but how big shall they be? And you know, when you are modeling, if you see, if you are, um, with you are making it, if you will make a head, then you make like a egg, and uh, and in the middle of the of the egg, in the middle from top to bottom, there you put the eyes. Often people move the eyes up because we think somehow that our eyes are further up but they are exactly in the middle of the head so just a little tip if you start to stop like that always in the middle and if you're not believe me you can measure on your own head <coughs> Every time I start to stop like this, I start to cough. Maybe I smoke too much. Probably that. And the ear are always on top of the eyes. Uh, the top of the ear is on top of the eyes. Now we are just doing it a little rough. It has to keep adjusting. And the material I use here is oil based clay. Mostly. You get in in boxes like this. And there are 500 grams in one. And it's, it's cheap, so. That's not what will make you poor. Sorry for the arm, but I can use this one. I need to glue his ear to his head. But the good stuff with 
using clay like this is I can reuse it when I have scanned it. something get really soft now when I have I have uh, those uh, soft boxes on I have two big soft boxes too light what can we do here And it, you can make it a little rough in the start, it don't matter, you can just to get everything in the right place, then you can fiddle with the details later. some symmetry and it all and one of the reasons I took the time to was that uh, to upload all the photo and uh, work on them uh, in Photoshop and, and uh, bridge and all that uh, I needed the big, uh, the big screens and the big computer to do that, and I only have one big computer. Uh, I need one more, but they are pretty expensive to build because, you know, they are maxed out in in, in anything in, in all things. I have uh, bought a new uh, laptop, and it. Uh, it is an i7 and it uh, I can uh, make Photoshop in it but it's easier on the big screen and so on and I have as you can see if we turn around here you can see there and I have one more screen on there so I can and the one over here is an i5 and this one over here is a i7 and they are all maxed out in RAM but still it 
if you're gonna work uh, uh, what are you calling it efficient then you need the big big computer a desktop and not a laptop found out one thing that is it's difficult to talk when you're working all the I'm not very good at multitasking I kind of focus on one thing at a time And then I need to you can see last I started to print uh, just just uh, uh, a test print so I could see, I could see you know how small I can make a figure and then uh, still put a, a skeleton in it with joints and you can only make join, joints at a certain size uh, the smaller they get the more complicated they get so I, I think I can make it down to this side but uh, you can see when I was printing this took a, a, a whole night to print and when I decided it's, it's nearly finished, it, it, uh, nothing will go wrong now, I went to bed and, and as soon as I had left the printer it started with this, it stopped printing so we had, won't have to be over it all the time. But now I will print uh, I print a big one and then I'll make a, a, a trial skeleton in a big one and then I will uh, start to to see how small I can get with it. It's uh, it's kind of a trial and error.
little like this. But it kind of a tough job to print if you have to stay up uh, a lot of nights to do it. Mm. Because it's very slow. 3D print is still in a very early stage. And now the la last plastic I got uh, seems be seems to be unable to uh, stick to the uh, to the printer bed, and I have a printer bed where a heated printer bed on my printer so the plastic I printed this one in well, was no problem to stick to the bed but uh, if you made like this a uh, uh, big uh, plastic foot on it so it has some surface to stick on but uh, the new plastic will not do that because it's a different one. So I have to. And right before we went on here, I I uh, I tied to this uh, computer here is uh, the small one that's. It's the one that runs the runs the printer, but the pro uh, uh, the problem is that I use the software I used use is uh, Rebit Rebitier Host, and uh, the lat latest version I uh, got on is uh, too uh, big for the little net netbook. That is on top here. This this is that book, so we couldn't run it. <laughs> There's not enough video RAM in it, uh, so I have to. I will try. I try to reinstall the old version, but it wouldn't run. So I will try again. Tomorrow, if I get the time, There's a lot of stuff you have to deal with when you do this kind of things. But I guess one day we can call. I'll get experienced. Will try so with this one or with this one. With this one, cleaning his ears.
but uh, goal is that we will run one hour every evening uh, uh, expect uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, those days I need to get a little ahead and then I will on on a Tuesday and uh, Tuesday and Thursday I will make uh, kids uh, workshop build fun stuff with them and if you are into that uh, sort of thing uh, and you have kids uh, then it will be great if you will help them. I try to make it as simple as possible and with as simple tool as possible so everyone everyone can participate I think it's always uh, good uh, for kids to learn to make stuff. Uh, I know I'm an old part, but they often just sit and and use things others have done. I would like kids to be able to do things themselves. I'm trying to learn my grandkid, grandkid Frederick to to just not sit all the day playing Minecraft and trying to tell him that someone have used a lot of hours to make that Minecraft. So for not to be dependent of other people making stuff for you, you have to learn to make something yourself. At least know how to do it. Maybe someday he will remember that. Oh. I remember that the old man told me we could do something. This one is not a specific person, it's just one of many uh, that are part of, of uh, the tribes or what we shall call them.
have a tendency to make very big fluffy ears. Maybe because I have some of those myself. I should have a cam on this side too, and then on this side, and then a foot pedal to change the width. When you change hands all the time and size all the time. Being on this side and then the other side. that he gets a little symmetric. Not a hundred percent, but close. The good thing with this is that you can keep on, you can never do it wrong because you have always uh, uh, make your mistakes right again. love to work in clay it's a uh, it's real nice to do it's a really good material to
even that I'm a graphical designer and have been drawing all my life that it's it's really fulfilling to work in 3D enough for tonight we have s spent another hour and uh, we will keep on again tomorrow and so on so I will say thank you and I will hope you will use uh, sidepixelfantasies.com and there are no pop-ups spanners or anything else just my size so so we can keep keep up uh, the contacts. So I will say thank you and have a good evening or whatever where you live. Thank you.